Hi, and welcome to Drawing with Steffi. Uh, today we are going to do another dragon, because everybody likes dragons. Uh, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my website. I have one at DeviantArt, just lady-cybercat at deviantart.com, and you can see more of my art and buy some of it if you want to help support uh, further videos in the future. Uh, at my Etsy store, it's Cybercat Graphics. Just go on to Etsy and you can uh, search for Cybercat Graphics and I'll pop up. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I'm using cardstock today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw on this using um, my red pencil lead and then I'm going to ink over that and scan it in to the computer and then print, uh, take out the red lines and then print out a fresh uh, inked page so I can color it and I'm going to use my marker paper but it's not really good to, to draw on the marker paper itself so we're just going to draw today and first thing we're going to do is sometimes you can do little thumbnails if you want to figure out what you want to do or you can just draw which is what we're going to do today and I think we're going to put the head over here and I like to use construction lines to help me figure out what my critter is going to look like so I'm going to draw a circle that's usually where you stick the head and I'm going to draw a little darker than I might usually so the camera can pick it up. Normally uh, you wouldn't want to draw quite this dark. And I put a little cross in the middle which tells me where the eyes in the center of the face is going to be. You can make it into a triangle if you want. And then I'm going to draw the neck. And this little square here are, are the edges of uh, where I'm going to cut out the page. So, But your drawing doesn't necessarily have to stay within those boundaries. Sometimes it can be more interesting if your critter goes outside the border. This is going to be kind of an oriental dragon. So we're going to make a little curly cue here. And he's going to come in through here too. And have him come back through here. Because you want to be able to see lots of the dragon. There we go. And you want to be mindful of how thick and thin he ends up being. He wants to be a little bit thicker in the middle. There we go. So he's coming in and around through there. I'm going to make that a little bit thicker. There we go. And then I want his snaws to be out here. So I'm going to draw a little square. And another little square. And some cheekbones. And this is where his mouth is going to be. A little bit, bit of a chin. Have his face go out a little bit further. And since he's oriental, he's going to have a little bit more of a, an alligator-like nose than a, a beak. That's the nice thing about dragons. You can make them look any way you want. Give him some horns here. I like using the, the red pencil because it's nice and soft and it, it erases pretty decently, at least the kind I get does. And uh, you can pencil or ink right on top of it. And I think I'm going to give him some fringe here. And you know, you want to draw fairly fast when you're just sketching out your idea. You don't want to spend too much time getting exactly perfectly because chances are you may end up erasing it anyway. Give him a bit of a smile. And then I'm going to draw in some of his nose and figure out where his eyebrows are going to be. He's going to have some nice big eyebrows here. And draw in his eyes. And as you sketch along, you finalize it a little bit more, deciding what you want to keep and what you don't. If you don't like it, you can just always erase it. That's the nice thing about penciling. And give him a little bit of a beard, because he's kind of oriental. The oriental dragons almost always seem to have beards. Alrighty, and now we want to give him some legs. And that's my... 10 minute mark there since I'm only allowed to make videos 10, 15 minutes long or so. I'll make sure we don't go over. 
All right, there we go. So we're gonna give him an arm here. And an arm over here. So that's a bit of his shoulder there. And he's gonna be grabbing at the air a little bit here. I'm just gonna give him two fingers. And like the bottom finger. There we go. Give him some fluff. There we go. And then his other arm here. I'm gonna go up and outside. And somewhere around here he probably has let's see, goes all the way around and out. I think his other legs are outside the boundary, so that's alright. We'll just worry about giving him some spikes. Best dragons always have little spikies, right? You want to make sure you're giving him spikes on the right side. He's kind of twisting around here. So it starts like on the back side here and then kind of curls around this way. That's the other thing you have to watch out for when you make them kind of sinuous like this is, you know, which side is which. That's what we're doing his belly scales here. Now we're going to switch around to this side. Put in his little spikes. And give him some little claws. Whoops, my leg broke. And we've got the basis for our dragon. Yay! And now what I'm going to do is uh, come in and with a normal pencil and kind of finalize what lines I want where. Which is normally why you'd want to draw fairly light with your, your red pencil. So it's easier to put in your darks with the normal pencil lead. I think I'm going to give him a jewel in the middle of his head. Put a spike up here too. That way when you're drawing it's it's easier to make corrections. But the camera doesn't always allow for that. I think I'm gonna try to squeeze in his arms here. Don't like that other one, so I'm gonna take my kneaded eraser, it's the kind you squish around. And I'll come in and I'll I'll scoot this over when I use the computer later. Sometimes that happens. It's okay. I think I'm going to give him some more whiskers. Some little oriental dragon whiskers. Kind of like a catfish. Koi. The dragons are kind of fish-like. There we go. Alrighty. And now for a pencil. Now this is just a, I think it's a 0.7 pencil. It's just a mechanical pencil. And I'm going to lighten up some of my drawing. I know it looks fairly light to you guys, but uh, let me lean back so you can see it. I'll bring it up to the camera a little bit so you can see maybe a little bit better. There you go. And I'm going to lighten some of this so I can go over it with the normal pencil. Oh, six minutes to draw. Fortunately, I'll make another video after this uh, where I finish penciling it. And I'm going to start here with the dragon's eye. Kind of reshape how it is. And again, that's why I like using the red pencil is I can go back over with the normal lead. Kind of finalize how it ends up looking and give him a, a nifty Ming the Merciless type eyebrow there. Not that anybody remembers who Ming the Merciless is anymore. I'm old. Oh no! I'll give him another really long. Yes, that is the five minute mark. Oh no! Gotta hurry! I need to make it so you can have longer videos. Just think, in a couple more years, 
you know, 30 minute videos is going to probably give me the norm. Alright, so I'm going to come back through here. And again, I'm drawing a little bit darker than I would normally. Because even with a pencil, you want to be able to come back in and erase it. Make a little scale things here for his big old fat nose. He's kind of stylized, but that's alright. Give him some, some nostrils on top of his little nose. And we definitely don't want to forget the teeth. Nice big old dragon teeth. And then we'll give him a tongue, the checker one. Beard. And you don't have to draw quite as fast as I do. I'm trying to hurry so, you know, we can catch it all in the video. And I don't have to time lapse it. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Not sure my little camera thing can do that yet. I'll have to play with it some more. And finalize some of his spikes back up here. And, you know, if you have to replace where you stuck them, that's okay. That's why you do a sketch first. And then put in his horn here. I don't think I like that. Fix that some. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I like that either. See, this is why you want to draw lighter and not hard like I'm doing right now. <laughs> There we go. And then we'll put in his little fringe. I also like to move the paper around when I'm drawing. It makes it just easier to get your hand in there. Looks like we're about down to two minutes. Oh no! Need to learn to draw faster. And we're going to stick in his other fringe here. And pretty much you just go in and finish sketching. And pretty much that's how you draw a dragon of the oriental style. And uh, I'll probably finish this up just on my own, at least the penciling. Because I'm not really going to do anything all that spectacular. It's not going to change that much. And uh, we'll come back when uh, I start inking. And I hope that if you guys have any questions in the future, you, you can email me at cybercatgraphics at yahoo.com. Or you can go to DeviantArt and uh, leave me a message there. Um, Alright, well we've run out of time. But like I said, I'm just going to finish this up. And uh, you can... Uh, Get any questions to me at my email address or you can visit me at DeviantArt or leave me a message on Etsy. Thanks so much and I'll see you in a few. Bye!